the Glock 19. And I know how you all love close-ups of some of these fine pieces of hardware. And I have not done one with the Glock 19, so I thought I would. So we have it here, the compact Glock Model 19 9mm. Midway between the Glock 26, the subcompact, and the bigger one, the Glock 17, the first Glock. So, uh, perfect size gun. Uh, I, I won't say most people, but uh, people who collect Glocks or are Glock aficionados and have a lot of Glocks, most of them, uh, I would say, have a Glock 19 or two. So, this is it. It is the one. It has uh, some bullets in it right now. Take those out. Most of us are familiar with how they operate. I'm not going to make this a Glock lesson, but let's just do a little reminder how simple they are. If you're coming to Glock Channel here, USA, for the first time, you know, they're just a marvel of engineering. And uh, many of us already know that. That's why we're interested in them and why we shoot them so much. The grip weighs about, uh, feels like about a half an ounce when you get everything off of it. That simple, the field strip. Glock 19, 9 by 19 uh, beautiful piece. Now this one happens to be uh, one that uh, was shipped last spring. This is uh, my son's Glock 19. It, uh, there was a shortage in the U.S. last spring and so as I understand Austria shipped some guns to us that were already assembled that were meant for other markets or for Austria and they had already been assembled over there and they have all the Austrian proof marks which you can see up on the top of the barrel there. Uh, the proof mark there. These you do not see on most Glock 19s. And they have various meanings. I have looked these up actually and uh, read a lot of threads on it. And they, You know what a proof mark is. You know the gun has been proofed. As I understand from some of my reading that uh, these were proofed in Vienna. One of the markings indicates it was proofed by uh, the folks in Vienna under a, a really hot load. Let's see, I get my serial number covered. There's another mark right there. You can see, and then on the frame over here, uh, and uh, this little spot right there it indicates uh, made in Austria. And the, these letters here under my above my thumb, as I understand, it, it's just some mumbo jumbo indicating a, it's kind of a legality indicating that the uh, Glock is a. Uh, some kind of company covering the liability or something, you know, there's uh, various uh, stories on that as well. Not all that important, except that I wanted to show you that this is one of those models that does have the proof marks under the trigger guard. It, uh, you know, it, it does say Glock uh, Incorporated, Smyrna, Georgia. That's not on uh, the Glocks generally, but because these were assembled in Austria and are Austrian uh, proof mark Glocks, they uh, had to stamp that under there apparently. Okay, so it's one of those. You've read about them. If you're a Glock fan and you've uh, visited uh, Glock Talk, you've you read those threads and everything. Some people think they're extremely uh, collectible and others say, nah, not so much. Uh, and they're kind of interesting. You know, someone might pay an extra 20 bucks for one if they're looking for a Glock 19 just for the novelty of it. But anyway, there was a shortage and uh, I think that shortage is uh, pretty much over with now. So, Glock 19, nine millimeter. Let's put uh, some of these bullets back in it. Might just take a couple of little shots. As you can see, I'm not gonna try to astound anybody with any great shooting here, but uh, just some close-ups of the gun, close-ups of uh, bullets coming out. Let's see, let's shoot that old pumpkin there a couple times. <laughs> and let's see if we can hit that shoot and see target. <laughs> Go up near the top of the bottom. <laughs> oh, I must hit the wheel weights we had in there. And let's hit that pumpkin again. Let's see if we can sight through the camera a little bit here. The sun's kind of in my eyes, but I think I can see the sights a little bit there. <laughs> okay. Another magazine. 
You know what one looks like once you fired it. Slide locks back. Put another mag in. And you've got bullets in it. Wow, look at those. Little torpedoes ready to be launched. Launch a couple out that way. Another pump. <laughs> Cans are kind of neat to shoot because they uh, they take us back, I think, to the old days when we were younger, and at least when I was younger, and we loved to shoot cans. Another round magazine in there, but uh, this gun uh, is again the nine millimeter, and as I say in many of my uh, oh, answers to uh, messages and even comments. If you're not sure what Glock you want, and you've been looking at them, you don't shoot a great deal, at least yet, and you're thinking a 9mm is what you want, you cannot go wrong with this gun.